Right, and here we are again. We're gonna do a uh, do another quick video today. It's uh, gonna be a heap of fun. Um, I'll, put it, I'll put it together over a couple of days because obviously I'm gonna go and do the shooting. I do like me uh, set of fire rifles and I like me little fast ones. You've got me 233 or 20, uh, 2250. Now I'm gonna do a Weatherby Vanguard chambered in 204 Ruger. They're an interesting little calibre. Uh, they really got popular here a while ago that overnight they just died. Um, people who've got them love them, and unfortunately the, the colour doesn't get a lot of love, which I think is uh, quite a shame. It's a very, very nice little rifle to shoot. So, strap yourselves in, we'll have a look at the 204 Ruger. Let's go. Right now, here we are. Welcome aboard. We are doing the uh, Weatherby Vanguard, chambered in uh, 204 Ruger. Uh, as, I, as I said in the intro, very interesting little, uh, little calibre, very absolutely deadly. On appropriate game, of course, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that shortly. All right, I'm going to have the quick stats on the gun before we have a look at it. Got glasses on so I can see. Right, here's a 204 Ruger, the 22 inch barrel. It's the this one's. Pardon me, it's the the, the fat varmint barrel, heavy barrel, bull barrel, whatever you want to call them. Um, and its overall length from tip to tip is a thousand and fifty five millimeters, which is forty one and a half inches. It's got a one, the, the barrel's got a one in 12 twist rate, twist rate, believe it, and the total weight of the firearm, dry, and that's, that's a dry weight, a, a boating term, that's with no ammunition in it, as she sits there, is 4.564 kilos, 4,564 grams, or just on 10 pound, one ounce. So it's a little light, not a, a little light, little uh, rifle weight, stretch of the imagination, and consequently being a 204, 20 caliber, all but zero recoil. So, but uh, we'll do a quick run by the gun first before we, uh, before we do anything else. So, we start at the back and we get these Weatherby's, cousin of the Hauer, nice soft recoil pad, nice big Monte Carlo stock. I'll turn it around so you can get a good look at that big lump in the stock. And Monte Carlo stock gives you a really good cheek connection with the stock and keeps you, keeps your head nice and steady on that. And now, I think this could be one of those Bell and Carlson stocks. I'm not overly sure. It's heavy duty fiberglass, fiberglass type stock, almost like a bench rest stock, and they're really, really rigid. I do like the shape of these ones because the like with all the houses, they've got a square bottom. They've got a square, square forend. So when you rest them on a rail or a or a, or a shooting mount, they don't like roll around like some of those cheap, skinny round stocks do. So they they'll sit very very steady, very steady, um, and that notwithstanding the the, uh, the weight of this rifle. Um, all right, so we'll move forward. We've got the got the bolt. She's nice and clear. Nice, nice action. They're obviously a short action rifle, and the cricket cracks. I measured that before. It's just on about three pounds, so that's fine. As I said, I don't like the triggers too light on hunting rifles because you may have to pull out of a shot um, a, a, a ball or whatever walks into walks into view or whatever you're trying to shoot, pokes, puts its head down or whatever. So, you know, I don't mind it. So that way I'm controlling the trigger. It doesn't, it doesn't surprise me at all. The checker on this, st on this uh, stock is quite good. You get a nice, good, a nice, good, uh, firm grip on it. And it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hands, which is, which is quite handy. And you can get them wet and you can't, and they don't, you don't hurt them. You spill a bit of shit on them, they don't get hurt. So that's good. This is, uh, topped with a Miyoka 3 to 9 by 42. Artemis 3000 scope, and this scope is as clear as you could possibly imagine. It's a beautiful little scope, nothing special about it. Um, a set of uh, a set of loophole rings on it, and uh, these barrels aren't floated. These barrels are not floated at all. So I'll show you that they, they come out like this. They've got a lot of upward pressure on the stock. That's going nowhere. You're never going to get to the paper under that. That's sitting there solid as a rock, and that uh, this barrel is is. Um, this gun is very, very, very accurate to shoot, um, and it can be sometimes hard getting these little, uh, getting these little calibers to shoot because we're shooting a 32 grain Hornady VMAX projectile. We're pushing it with 27 and a half grains of um, uh, ADI 2206 H powder, which gives us a muzzle velocity with not much change out of 4,000 feet per second. So, and that's absolutely cooking along. Um, the smaller, smaller projectiles, um, if you're shooting. Foxes, rabbits, dogs, kangaroos, etc. That's fine for that. Suitably placed shots, of course. Things for your larger game, like your pigs and, and, and all that. If you can get a close enough shot, 
shot placement is critical. If they've got any mud on them, nine times out of 10, those little projectiles are just gonna explode like a firecracker when they hit that, that rock hard mud. So that's your trade off. All right, we'll finish the gun up now. Um, five round internal magazine, which is action from the standard little, uh, little um, catch in front of the trigger guard, and that'll just close up in there and sits in there nicely. This, this uh, rifle has pra practically zero feeding issues, as most Howards don't. Um, and you've, I've always found this gun a very, very, very nice gun to shoot. My father's had it for a while, and, uh, and it's just been passed to me. So um, that's all I've got to say about the 204 at the moment. And uh, next time we speak, we'll be at the running, we'll have a shoot. So we'll see you then. Right, and welcome back. We are at the farm. We, uh, we've got the uh, Weatherby Vanguard chambered in 204 Ruger. We've uh, got that up on the bags today. And um, this, as I stated in, the, uh, in the, uh, the narrative, it's a very heavy little gun, little heavy bull barrel gun. But we'll recap, we're uh, just shooting some home loads today, shooting 32 grain uh, Hornady VMAX. Um, it seems to like them. I've, we've tried it with the 39 grain uh, Sierras, and it just it just didn't like them. It just didn't like them. Threw them all over the place. But it seems to really seems to really like this little uh, 32 grain V Max. So there we go. We've got the uh, three to nine by 42 me up the scope, and uh, nice nice clear glass, high up on the bag. So uh, let's have a bit of a shoot. I have not shot this gun for a long time. But, uh, uh, as I said, it's. Uh, 204 she doesn't get a great deal of love unfortunately it, it means it, it's a good they're a really nice little gun but there's something about them okay. Side of the rim, um, yeah, not, didn't require much adjustment at all. That was covered just a couple of there a while. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick little three shot group now. I've got no extra loads or ammunition to test, so this is it. I'll do a quick shot group, see a quick three shot group, see if we can get uh, a bit of MOA. Go. Right, let's go and see how we went. Right, um, now the tail of the tape is where all the lies get all the lies get um, sorted out. So the truth from the lies. Here we go. So we've shot our um, shot our two oh four this afternoon. As you can hear in the mic, there's a lot of wind here. It's coming basically straight across the stairs. So. You go to these small projectiles, everything's going to get blown around. There's nothing you can do about it. The wind's in and out. It's more in than out. And some of the gusts are really quite strong. So yeah, there's a bit of dust. But that, look, that's the way it goes. You play, as I always say, you play the cards you're dealt. You know, you don't, you know, when you go out for a shoot, oh, it's too, I'm not going to go out tonight. It's too, it's too windy. It's too this. You just go. You're stuck with it and that's that. So let's have a look what we've done. We fired two three-shot groups. This one wasn't overly impressive. 1.444 inches, 1.45 inches. Not, not brilliant. Here's our, here's our first one. That was our second one. That was fired with a hotter barrel. A little, little bit of a cooler barrel. Let's have a look at this one. Look at this. Okay, we've got. Let's zero that. We are sitting at 0.458 of an inch. Can you zoom in on that? Sam on the camera, can you zoom in on those numbers? All good. It's inside a half inch MOA. 
So I would say that if you were to shoot with that rifle, you would be quite happy with the money you spent. Um, a half inch MOA for a, for a rifle, particularly on a day like today, the conditions we're in today, it, it's more than acceptable. So that's uh, that's our 204. It shoots well. It's a lovely gun. My dad's had it for a while, and um, it's, a, it's always been a good thing to shoot. So we'll go and wrap it up. Right, wrap up time. Final thoughts on the uh, Weatherby Vanguard uh, 204 Ruger. Um, in short, like it. Lovely little gun to shoot. Recoil, very little. Um, horribly accurate. Um, the only two downfalls with it, for a very for a small little cartridge, for a small little um, caliber, it does bark a lot. It's got a really big bark to it, and this particular one being the uh, the bull barrel or varmint barrel, whatever they call it, uh, it weighs a ton, and that's in that's in this pretty heavy duty sort of fiberglassy type stock. So this isn't a walk around rifle by any stretch of the imagination. This is this is it on a bench or out of a um, out of the side of a car rifle, out of the side of a vehicle rifle, but uh, aimed at suitable suitable quarry like your softer your softer game. This will knock a, this will knock pigs over. Um, your shot play as you get down, as we all know, with the, uh, the smaller caliber shot placement does become quite critical, and these are no different. Uh, but if your shot place is not right, the particular pig's got a bit of mud on him. These little projectiles more than likely will just ex like explode, disintegrate on impact with that that rock, that rock hard caked on mud they put on themselves. So, but foxes and foxes and dogs, these are a beautiful little gun, and it's it's just a shame that they're not more popular up here in Queensland, down south there everywhere. But anyway. I'll wrap it up. That's my thoughts on the uh, on the 204. Another top class, another top class rifle from the Weatherby from the Weatherby stable. But as we all found out, Weatherby rarely make rubbish. So there we go. That's it. Um, as I always say, um, like, subscribe, comment. I do need subscribers. There's really no reason you shouldn't be subscribing to a channel such as this. This is this is just the cat's pajamas. This channel. Um, so yes, word of mouth. Bang that. Uh, Bang that uh, like button, bang that bell like it owes you money. And remember, you can tell your wife, you can tell your girlfriend, you can tell them both for all I care, no matter. Just remember, go two clicks up. Ta-da.